Well, there's a lot of uh, uh, debate and conversation uh, currently looking at the role of genetics and environment in the problem that we see with diabetes in American Indian communities. So, for example, diabetes was exceedingly rare prior to damming the rivers in Arizona. There was actually a fairly complete health survey done uh, right around the, the 1900, early 1900s. And what they found was one documented case of diabetes among southwestern tribes. So it was not a, a, a common health problem historically when people lived in a different environment and had different lifestyles. Then what we saw was damming the rivers in the 1920s and 1930s. And then by the 1970s, some of the local tribes had the highest rate of diabetes in the world. So we did not see a tremendous genetic shift between 1900 and 1970. What we saw was a tremendous change in environment and lifestyle. So when we look at the allocation of resources and looking at this from a policy perspective, we will work with some communities and spend many, many millions of dollars on genetics research in those populations and at the same time, we won't spend $40,000 for a PE teacher. So we haven't prioritized the allocation of resources to reflect the needs of the communities. We've allocated resources to reflect the needs of policymakers and the medical research community. And this really is a social injustice. But looking at it from a broader perspective, we're seeing an explosion of type 2 diabetes around the world. It's not just American Indians. Uh, it's not just in this country, but in the whole world, in developing populations. What we've seen is a tremendous change in diet and processed foods and things like corn syrup, which makes the availability of sugar that much greater in processed foods. And as a result, we're seeing a tremendous increase of diabetes throughout the world. And that certainly is not genetic. The world has plenty of healthy food, we just don't distribute it equally. And the people who do not have access to healthier choices are the people and the populations that are suffering the most from diabetes.